Welcome back, this is Tridius with another episode in the LA Rams franchise. We're in week one of the regular season. It's going to be our third season now in this franchise series. We're kind of powering through the seasons here. Last time we did really well. We finished 12 and 5, got into the playoffs, got into the uh, divisional playoff round and lost there um, in a game against the Panthers that we actually should have done way better in. We were the better team, we had more yards, we were more productive, but we lost it due to errors. Uh, six interceptions, that was just painful. We used the offseason to change the shape and the way of the team and the focus of that change was as I'm going to show you now. At the quarterback, we are starting with Tua Tagovailoa. He is still our uh, franchise quarterback for the, for the time being. I mean, we put up an insane offer for uh, Lamar Jackson. That was just a gung-ho one. We didn't get him, of course. He signed with the Colts. But uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. We have a good young quarterback in Tua. I'm confident that we will be working with him this season. Behind him, we've got Bo Nix who is a backup quarterback. Um, he is yeah, serviceable in case of an injury, but nothing more than that. And then behind him, we drafted Ethan Cook, uh, yeah, young quarterback, and I will be moving him to the practice squad, but we need to clear that out a little bit uh, later on. At halfback, we've got Cam Akers. Absolutely fantastic. He's been doing so well. I'm super happy with him and uh, yeah, wouldn't change a thing here. Uh, he's number 12 ranked halfback and uh, yeah, whatever he wants, he will get once contract negotiations come around. Uh, behind him, we have a change. We've got Karen Williams here now, 23 years old out of Notre Dame. He uh, has moved up in the pecking order since Daryl Henderson uh, didn't accept our offer. Uh, we didn't franchise tag him because yeah, he, he was good. I like him in real life, but uh, here in the game, I think Karen Williams is a good option. And behind him, we've got Isaiah Spiller, who we moved back from tight end to halfback. Uh, he's also a very good option here. Um, and and uh, yeah, very, very good backup, halfback, pretty young. And uh, so a lot of quality in the halfback room. Fullback, we've got Brees Hall, Mr. Mad Eyes himself. Uh, he's the best fullback in the game at the moment and again um, I got asked if I wasn't wasting him at that position maybe if he wouldn't be more productive at halfback the answer to that is no because we have no fullback and he's fantastic I use him as my power halfback as well uh, he's a fantastic option if you want to bridge one or two yards uh, he always gets that done and if by any coincidence we lose Cam Akers uh, we have a quality halfback here that we can switch over in the blink of an eye. Okay, next up, covering the wide receivers. Uh, our veteran superstar X-Factor wide receiver Cooper Cup is still in there, 30 years old. Um, he will be playing as wide receiver too, um, because that just suits suits my place a little, little bit better and it gets, uh, gets those uh, primary corners away from him, because the wide receiver one will always be covered by by the best corners um, and uh, if I put him to wide receiver two I can get a bit uh, bit more mismatches going. But Jefferson is in there as well his overall is not as high uh, in comparison to his age but I'm just so happy with him he's he's a great slot wide receiver and he's just doing very well whatever I need him to do he gets done. Next up Tyquan Thornton He's been with us for for a while now, and I really feel like uh, this could be the season where he really breaks out. Um, he's such a quick and agile player. Um, we just need to get his skills up a little bit more. Apart from that, I am very, very happy with him. He really um, played well last season. Uh, let me just check how many yards he got. 255 yards. That's not bad for being the third wide receiver, not even slot wide receiver in there. Four touchdowns. 115 yards after contact. Uh, yeah, next up we've got Justin Shorter, who we signed in free agency, actually. He received number 18. That's the number that Ben Skoronek was using. Um, and uh, 
I was a bit surprised to find him in there. He's got the start of trade. We got him on the cheap and uh, he is a great addition to the wide receiver room. I will be showing you the depth chart sorting in a moment. Tutu Atwell is uh, the next wide receiver in here. He's good, he's serviceable, he's quick, he's agile. We can use him whenever we need to, but he's not hes not at the quality of a primary receiver yet. So of course he is he's still in development. And then we've got Wandale Robinson, um, the Kentucky product. Yeah, we picked him up in free agency as well uh, two years ago. And uh, yeah, he's here, he's a backup and uh, he's 22, so he has time to improve. And I do think that uh, these players will be uh, picking up uh, these positions up here at some point in time. Not yet, of course, but uh, maybe next season or maybe late this season, let's see. At tight end, we made a crucial change. We brought in Michael Mayer, the tight end out of Notre Dame from the 2023 draft. Some are touting him as the highest tight end uh, prospect in the whole draft um, or for some drafts in the past as well. Uh, that's up for debate, of course, but uh, in the game here, he is excellent. Superstar uh, dev trait, 85 overall, still very young uh, and already 85 overall will develop further so i'm very happy i like Ty um i like tyler higby a lot but uh, we had to let him go in the game he would be regressing in real life not but yeah this is a game and this is the rules um that we're following bryson hopkins is the backup tight end number 88 here we're still holding on to him he's a serviceable player uh, not too expensive he does he gets the job done and i'm happy with him Behind him, we've got Khalil Shakir, who we picked up in free agency, um, the Boise State product, and uh, we had him in uh, the uh, practice squad. Then we had him as a wide receiver. I switched him over to tight end, and I noticed that his overall stayed exactly the same. So I'm super happy about this. Might be possible that we have found our second uh, tight end here. Left tackle, Jonah Williams, this is unchanged. He's 25, 84 overall start of trade. Will be getting better over time. Um, and yeah, I see no need to to, uh, to let go of him. He has a balanced penalty tendency. He did cost us last season, but uh, yeah, his overall is good enough. His age is, is great. So working with him, uh, we picked up Prince Tega Wanogo in free agency as a backup. He will be uh, behind Jonah Williams, in case of injury, we've got a serviceable left tackle here. Left guard, Brian Allen, formerly a center, of course, as you may know. Uh, but uh, we switched him over to left guard because uh, his overall didn't change too much. And he is actually not a bad uh, guard to have. Uh, behind him, we've got Will Lampkin, who we got in uh, the draft of uh, in, the, in the previous draft. And uh, he is a 75 overall, 21 years old, which means he's only one overall behind Brian Allen. He will be improving and at some point in time, he will be switching to be our first guard. I'm very happy with him. At center, we're looking at Maurice Smith. Also one from the draft that we got in the later rounds. I'm very, very happy with him. He's been so productive last season. Um, he is undisciplined, which I'm not too crazy about, but uh, Everything else is really working quite well. So very happy with that. Behind him, we've got Zach Tom, 25 years old, 72 overall, a serviceable backup. And if you look at the core attributes, he's actually not bad. And I'm very happy to have him as my backup here uh, behind Maurice Smith, 25 years old, 72 and ready to go uh, if we get an injury for Maurice Smith. At right guard, we've got another change. We picked up Emil Ekior Jr. from the 2023 draft, the Alabama player. Uh, yeah, he is very good for his age. Number 16th ranked right guard. He's got high strength, high pass block power, high run block power. That's what I was looking for in a guard. And Robert Hunt was very, very undisciplined. We picked up quite a few uh, penalties because of him and uh, Emil Ekior, and that's what I was looking for, a young player with a reasonable overall start F trade and a balanced penalty tendency. So happy with this pickup. Behind him, Logan Bruss from the 2022 draft. He is developing quite nicely and is a great 
backup to have nothing more nothing less and uh, we we've got a good setup here right tackle still sam cosme 24 years old 79 overall i would like to see him progress into the low 80s this season um he's doing fine he's 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 a good tackle at that position but uh, of course at some point in time I, I need him to really make a step forward to improve further david schultz a new rookie now with a hidden death trade actually quite played quite a few snaps in uh, preseason he's got a very high strength rating and uh, especially his secondary attributes are good this is what what uh, uh, causes his overall to be actually passable um, he's got a lot of work to to be done here of course but uh, yeah he's a serviceable backup and uh, that concludes the offensive line left edge this is where things get interesting we added george karlaf to start of trade 22 year old edge player out of purdue 84 overall already instead of a sean robinson a sean robinson good player in real life but in the game he was just missing a little something and uh that's why we brought in george karlaftis and with this trade uh, with the chiefs we are set for the future it did cost us quite a few uh, draft picks as well but yeah i'm happy with that um i see no need whatsoever to to change something here we're really set here for the future kingsley and Barry, his backup uh, from south carolina he's a good backup i don't think i need to go into any more depth but uh if you've got an injury we've got kingsley in here who can take over right edge of course still aaron donald he is regressing slightly he's now a 97 overall it's not the number one ranked tight end anymore uh, right end but nevertheless he is a fantastic player and i'm going to be holding on to him as long as it's sustainable he does have quite a big contract to be honest um and at some point in time we might think of replacing him when his production goes down um but uh yeah next year he's still got 20 mil on the cap uh this year 19 mil i'm sure we could find uh, a cheaper edge player but uh, my intention of course is to keep a certain character a certain uh, core of uh, rams players here so that this team still feels like the rams and not like a bunch of mercenaries so yeah that's the idea here to keep him of course uh, apart from that i really like him tyler batty out of biu 21 years old 74 overall right edge will it be the successor i don't know we'll have to see how long how long uh, aaron donald can play for us and how quickly Tyler Batty can improve. D tackle Bobby Brown the third will be our starting D tackle. Greg Gaines left the squad. He was a 79 overall. He didn't want to renew his contract, and so I'm giving Bobby Brown a shot here because I think why not? Um, he he looks good. He's he's fit. He's young, so he will improve quite a bit. He's got a normal death rate, so that might be a certain impact. Behind him, Corey Durden and Dion Baldwin, a rookie, are my backup players here. Left outside linebacker. Super happy with this trade. We brought in Noah Sewell here. Um, he's the brother of Pene Sewell, who plays for the Detroit Lions. And uh, he's a fantastic left outside linebacker already. Number 11th ranked left outside linebacker. 79 overall at the age of 23 out of Oregon. Start of trade as well. We gave him the number 11 usually he plays with the number one at college but uh yeah that's that's gone because Tua has that so no way it's gonna be the double one there we go we got that done behind him amari barno usually right outside linebacker I switched him over to left outside linebacker and yeah he's just gonna be the backup here but he is serviceable he's got very good uh core attributes in certain areas and and uh, he will be a good replacement for noah Sewell, who of course will be our starter mid linebacker kenneth murray jr is our new starting mid linebacker here he's got a superstar death trade 24 years old out of oklahoma um and uh he he still has a number nine that he played with in college and that was a trade that we made with the chargers uh we gave them Bobby Wagner, who had gone down to a start F trade, he was still at an 89 overall, so that was an easy trade actually to pull off. But um, yeah, I wanted a younger player with a high potential to take over that position and, and not watch Bobby Wagner regress quicker and quicker. 
Ernest Jones will be our second mid-linebacker. He uh, is a normal depth trade, 23 years old. I would really like to see him go up to start if as well. I really think very highly of him in real life. He's fantastic. And uh, yeah, so these two will be heading the midline backers. And we've got Nick Bonito in here, also a normal depth trade, 24 years old. Um, he's going to be the backup. Right outside linebacker, that's a fixed position. Anthony Heinz the third, 24 years old, 80 overall, start of trade. Fantastic. He was so good last season in terms of tackles, tackles for loss and sacks. And yeah, super happy with him. So um, going to, of course, be keeping him as our starter. Behind him, we've got a sharp black burner rookie. And this is in typical Rams fashion, going for later round rookies and implementing them in the starting lineup instead of just uh, putting them into the practice squad. Uh, just a short addition, uh, Noah Sewell was traded for Leonard Floyd, who I also really like in real life, but here in the game, he was getting a bit old and I uh, wasn't really improving anymore. So we had to look for another option to improve the team. Cornerbacks, so these are led by Jalen Ramsey still, of course, he's 28 now, but 99 overall still. And yeah, no reason to change that. He does have quite a hefty contract, so at some point in time we might be switching him for a cheaper, uh, also a good option, but at the moment we're going to be keeping him, of course. David Long Jr. is the second corner. Um, Taylor Rapp, that's maybe something new here. He was a free safety before, but a free safety is completely covered. I'm going to show you that in a second. So I changed him to cornerback and noticed that his overall didn't change, and I'm very happy, to, happy about that, so we can keep an original Rams player in the squad and still uh, let him be productive. And then we've got Russ East and Darion Kendrick who are improving and who I'm still going to be giving time to improve because we are really set at the number one and number two position. Free safety, our starter here is Terrell Burgess, start of trade, 24 years old, out of Utah. No reason to change that. Uh, he was younger. Um, and, and higher rated in comparison uh, to Taylor Rapp. And so that was an easy choice to go with. Behind him, we've got Quentin Lake, um, who was picked in the 2022 draft, and Brian Cook, who we added from free agency. Going to leave him in there and see how he progresses. It might be an option for strong safety as well, or for the cornerback room. Let's just see how that pans out. Strong safety, we've got Jordan Fuller as the leading Strong safety, of course, 82 overall, star dev trait, 25 years old, out of Ohio State. He's been so good last season, and he will only get better this season. So um, let's give him time to develop even further. Behind him, Antoine Brooks, normal dev trait, but a very solid backup. Uh, when he had to play due to injury, um, uh, when, when Jordan Fuller was injured, Antoine Brooks really, really held the line, did very well. Jordan Morant. Um, also a player from the 2022 draft, and we are now putting him in the main squad out of the practice squad. Our kicker is Tyler Bass, so that's a change. We picked him up in free agency. Now we have a very solid kicker. Uh, Matt Gay at times was a little bit um, out of his depth uh, in regards to, to uh, very long kicks. I think we're a little bit better here with uh, Tyler Bass with that uh, 96 kick power. And finally, punter is still Matt Aresa. Very happy with him. He's doing great. Um, and uh, yeah, very serviceable punter at that. Those are the draft picks. We have two for this season. We used quite a lot uh, in terms of trade material. And now we're, we've got the practice squad. I will not be going through this in depth, of course, but I want to make room for our, um, for our quarterback. So let's see, I have two tight ends in here. Do I really need two tight ends? Do I really need Edwin Morant? Do I need to hold on to him? I don't think so. We're going to be releasing him and we will be adding uh, Ethan Cook to the practice court because that's going to give us uh, a little room to maneuver in regards uh, in regards of backups and uh, bringing players in from the free agency pool, maybe even stealing a player from another practice squad. I did see quite a few interesting ones. And one part of the squad that I might like to add another player for depth is the, the midline back in core, just to be on the safe side here. Okay, 
we've covered the team now. All I'm going to do now is I will be heading into the roster now and I will be adjusting the depth for the wide receivers. Um, unless I already did that. Yes, I already did that. We've got a Tyquan Thornton. No, I will be putting Justin Shorter at the wide receiver. One position, I want to improve him, of course, with the start of trade. That's a no brainer. Um, we've got Cooper Cup at wide receiver two. Then we've got uh, Tyquan Thornton, wide receiver three. Wide receiver six is going to be one Dale Robinson. But I actually want to have Van Jefferson as my last wide receiver. All right. So there we go. All right, we fixed that. The squad is ready to go. This is what it's looking like um, in this view. And now we will be taking a look at our opponents and then heading straight into the weekly strategy. Before we do that, let's cover the camp standout. Every year there's players who ball out in preseason that don't end up doing anything. Once the actual season starts, I think you're different, but it's time to prove it. All right, Terrell Bridges. I've never been more ready, coach. Didn't put in all this work just to come up short. I'm here to make plays and help this team win. Okay, let's see what we need to do. Get two plus combined interceptions, pass deflections to continue his breakout. Okay, I mean, that's up to him because I'm not playing the snaps, the defensive ones, but yeah, gonna have to leave that to him. Our season goal, what is the season goal? Of course, the playoffs. I mean, that is a no-brainer. It's going to be tough, but we've improved the team. We made it last last season. So I want to get this done this season as well. Um, next up, opening day key to victory. All right, that's a press conference. It's opening day this week and a fresh start for every team around the league. And you'll be facing the 49ers. What's the key to victory? Well, dominating offense, clearly. Ideally, we establish a rhythm on offense, dictate the flow of the game, get a big enough lead to make their offense one-dimensional. Obviously, every offense wants to be balanced. What's your main focus? Main focus will be the running game. We want to pound the rock. A solid run game is going to limit the opponent's possessions, and the longer we're on offense, the less time they have to score. Yeah, I agree. Pound the rock, 150 rush yards. Okay. Let us take a look at our opponent, the 49ers now. We have played them last season and uh, we have always lost to them. So let's see what we're gonna be dealing with this year. They still have Trey Lance as their quarterback. He's now a superstar dev trade. So that's not gonna be making things much easier due to the abilities that he has. Uh, Mason Rudolph and David Blow are the backups. All right, halfback Elijah Mitchell Trey Sermon and Alexander Madison. So yeah, still gonna be a tough running game. Karl Yushik, wide receiver. Stevo Samuel still there, but a superstar death trade now. Yeah, number 11th ranked wide receiver. Gonna be difficult. Brandon Ayuk is there. Don't take Demas Jr. All right, who is that? Looks like a young player, like a rookie from the possibly 2023 draft or 2022 draft. Let's take a quick look. Yeah, he started in 2022 and uh, drafted the third round. That's actually not a bad pick for the third round. Uh, Danny Gray and Avery Davis. Okay, so we're going to be having these three pass receivers. Tight end George Kittle. Yeah, he's still going to be tough to handle. Number one ranked wide. Uh, <laughs> number one ranked tight end. There we go. Charlie Werner, Ray Hind, and Braden Galloway out of Clemson, 71 overall, okay. Yeah, left tackle, George Fant, Joseph Nopum, oh, there we go. So Joe, Joe landed with the 49ers, going to a straight opponent, straight rival. Now that is going to be an interesting homecoming. <laughs> and uh, behind him, Nick Broker out of Ole Miss. Left guard Eric Flowers, 78 overall. Jalen Moore behind him. Center is Nick Harris, 76 overall. Gus Hardwick behind him. I was a bit confused at one point in time, but uh, uh, because he hasn't uh, really seen any uh, anything here, but we drafted him. I completely forgot about that. 
that we drafted him that uh, we let him go at some point in time so now he's the backup center here for the 49ers right guard Aaron Banks will be injured okay so we're gonna be facing Bray Walker right tackle is Mike McGlinchey he's the first offensive line player over 80 uh, looks to be a solid player solid tackle behind him Chad Lindbergh Chad Lindbergh what a name all right yeah looking good but uh this offensive line might be might be doable for our defense stoppable at sir at at most left edge Eric Armstead yeah he's gonna be tough he was very ugly last season coming after us quickly disgusting edge rusher right edge Nick Bosa even more disgusting <laughs> I think he's all right number two, number two ranked uh, right end in the game at the moment he's so good so quick so that's gonna be tough Dion Broyles the backup here D tackle Javon Kinlaw Delvin Tomlinson and Maurice Hurst unchanged here uh, Javon Kinlaw is also so good so these really gonna be gunning for us left outside linebacker Aziz Alshair also locking us down so quickly last season Quincy Trap uh, Quincy Tap a new rookie he's the backup here Ooh, and a hidden death trade us at that what a good pick for the 49ers let's just do a quick check second round pick in 2023 okay mid linebacker Fred Warner is he the number one easy number one okay but that will be tough Otaro Alaka behind him and Chris Claiborne another rookie and then right outside linebacker Drake Greenlaw Drake Jackson corners are Charvarius Ward DJ Reed Ambry Thomas Q Blue Kelly I think he's from the 2023 draft yeah tough very tough um, this defense is gonna be gonna be very tough to break down Brandon Stevens Andrew Wingard Talano Talanoa Hufanga Andrew Wingard he's not usually with the 49ers yeah he was with the Jacksonville Jaguars that's where I know him from from that rebuild look to have a productive season but not as great not as great so uh yeah that's a free safety strong safety Tyson Anderson and Enrique Lloyd I think it was Jimmy Ward who was always here and he retired so now we're facing Tyson Anderson who looks to be pretty quick good in the pursuit we might have a chance here at the strong safety kicker Seth Stecker and Jamie Gillen is the punter okay so to make things short offense should be stoppable but they're still ranked 87 and defense um, I would actually rank their defense way higher I don't understand the rating but okay so heading into weekly strategy what are we gonna do I think we are gonna be defending the deep pass because that is their recommendation they seem to be doing that quite a lot so let's head for that what about our practice we're gonna be splitting that I actually uh, across the board don't see any issues here now because everybody needs to get some experience um, the offensive game plan what's the recommendation throw it deep Ooh. I mean the corners were a bit weaker but we're not gonna be doing that oh my god no 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 way I am thinking of going with the throw it short but we need to go with the runs because we need 150 rush yards so we're gonna be looking towards that practice intensity is gonna be full pads uh, with uh, splits for the quarterback I want no injury for two uh, so that's why I am splitting here I'm gonna be doing that across the board for the moment there is nobody uh, where, where I don't want to split the experience looking at our focus players I've got Tua Tagovailoa in here Justin Shorter Tyquan Thornton Maurice Smith Will Lampkin and Khalil Shakir uh, I set these players in uh, preseason so that is that's what, what we're going to be going with as far as our full report goes um, I know that uh, we we can improve um, those are the top used concepts here um, 
Our defense needs to get a bit better, of course, but I'm sure that they will be improving uh, over the course of the season. Um, we need for Terry Bridges to actually get um, get two interceptions, I think. So let's see if we can't get that done. Um, gonna be going for the one interception here, the defensive coordinator. I want to try and pick it off twice. Uh, the offensive coordinator, we are gonna go with uh, rush for 150 yards. We need to get that anyways. And as for the head coach, we will be looking towards there's something in regards to Russian. Nope. We're gonna go with the own the 70% plus. Yeah, I think that should work. Okay, so everything done. Let's start training. Training has finished. Defense. Now we are looking good. Focus experience. Actually, I didn't see any focus experience. Why nothing for Maurice Smith? Oh, because he's a center. Yeah, there we go. Answer that question myself. Here we go, offense now. No injuries, a lot of focus experience. That is very good. At the beginning of the season, next step will be to upgrade the players. Anthony Hines the third. All right, that is great. We're gonna be giving him trust me, speed rusher. 81 overall now. Awareness, power moves, pursuit, and tackle. Nick Bonito gets an upgrade towards field general. Wow, jumping to 77. Wow, awareness, change of direction, man coverage, strength, tackle, zone coverage. Kingsley and Akbari gets an upgrade towards the power rusher. Fixation, acceleration, awareness, power moves, pursuit, tackle. Jordan Morant gets an upgrade for run support. And there we go. Richard Blackburn, our rookie, gets an upgrade towards the speed rusher. And finally, Terrell Burgess will get an upgrade towards zone coverage. I'd like to get him into the high 80s this season. That would be really great. Maybe we can even get him to superstar. That would be even better. Just wanted to show you quickly what we're going to be doing this season. I would like to change things up a little bit uh, because we've got the current home and the current away. But we also have some beautiful options like this one, like the home option or the away option. Um, we also have an alternate that looks like this. and. Uh, also an option here. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be switching things up a little bit for this season. This is the current home. This is the current away. What I will be doing is I will be using uh, this. Uh, no, wait up. I'm going to be using this as our home uniform. And I'm going to be using this here, the completely blue one, as our away uniform. Let's hope I remember that. I'm sure gonna forget that. If I do, please remind me in the comments. But uh, we're gonna be going with this for home games and with this for the away games. All right, here we go. Trellance out onto the field as uh, the 49ers, of course, are going to be the home team and the LA Rams will be the away team. Can't wait to see how this team will perform this change team. Gotta be going with a halfback dive straight away, of course, because uh, this is just uh, what we need to do in terms of our uh, in terms of our uh, gameplay goal. There we go. We've got Cam Akers picking up almost everything up to the uh, second and inches here. Now we're going to be going towards the left-hand side. Off we go. Can Avery's get the first down? We're at the 34 now. A halfback mid draw, quick succession run plays here is what we're going to be doing. Can Avery's? Can we avoid all of those? Oh no, we can't. We we'll try to change the run towards the middle. Still at second and ten here. That did not work out. 
as I intended. Let's go with an inside zone towards the left here. Let's see if Morty Smith and Brian Allen can create some space here. And they can. Wow, what a great run. I mean, Bosa's there. It just takes Acres out, but that run was very nice. But you know what? Maybe I'll go back on my word. Maybe I will switch things up in terms of the jerseys and just go through them a little bit. But uh, I would like to get those maybe unused jerseys into the game as well. All right, there we go. We avoided the tackle by Al Shair. Only got two yards. And now an inside zone run here towards the right. Definitely want to get going here. Okay, Cam Akers pushing forward here. Number 27 coming across third and two. I do think we need we need a direct run here, something like a halfback dive, just to really push forward. The 49ers already on the board. And there we go. What a beautiful run. Cam Akers pushing forward here towards the 31. And uh, Anderson leading with three tackles right now. So, of course, of course we're going to be met with some resistance here. <clears throat> Momentum is already working against us a little bit. Try to get around here towards the left-hand side, but Reed catches up as we're going to be going with a halfback draw. First quarter is over already. Now that was that was a quick one. That was a really quick and really flew by. But uh, is that what they say? Time flies when you're having fun. Really very productive here. Cam Akers gets the ball, pushes forward. Oh my god, no no space to be found here. Drag back by number 91, but still third and one. That was great. That was very, very good. Great run. How long can we keep this going? Get the first down. 4 minutes 27. At some point in time, Cam Akers will get a bit tired. I'm sure of that. But uh, for the moment, he's still fit, which is great. Bruce Hall is going to be a run. Uh, going to be running in front of him to create some space here. And there we go. That's a block. I tried to change direction. Maybe I should have kept going. Second and seven. As we're going to be going with a zone weak left hand side here. Jonah Williams. And. Uh, there we go. What a great tackle by Brian Allen. That was a super, super important shove here by the center that we put onto the uh, guard position here. Just to uh, keep keep uh, keep your eyes on number 55. All right, I would like to move. Okay, that's not working. Anyhow, keep your eyes on number 55. He helps Maurice Smith then as soon as he, uh, as, as Maurice Smith is in full control, he switches to the left just in time to make a crucial shove here because without Brian Allen, that would, be, would have been a stop. Like this, Cam Akers can move quite freely, complete his run. That was very well done. Very well done. Let's go with an inside zone split. We're two yards away, so shouldn't be too hard. We've dragged back momentum. And off we go. And Cam Akers is in to the end zone for the first touchdown of the regular season for the LA Rams. Well done. That looked really, really well orchestrated. Offense. The offensive line is working hard here. And Akers finds acres of space. Yeah, pun intended. Sorry about that. Had to, had to say it. All right, can our defense, our defense stops them. Okay, that is good. We've got two minutes 21. We pushed back pretty far. I don't think that uh, Burgess has any interceptions yet. Uh, could have gone further. Maybe even towards the left-hand side, but second and three, it's not too bad. An inside zone should bring us 
Uh, further forward. We're gonna be playing it safe. We're gonna be playing it safe, of course. But I'd like to get a second touchdown in the first half. All right, that snap was interesting. I couldn't really get going. Nope, couldn't really get going. Second, or third and four now. As we will be going with... Do we go with a tight end angle? We go with PA crossers. I'd like to get something safe going here. Let's try a mesh spot. We've got Mayer and Jefferson. That should be safe, right? Alright, Michael Mayer, our new tight end, replacement for Tyler Higby, gets the ball, moves towards the left-hand side, dragged out of bounds then. Okay, what do we do? We have some ground to cover. We're going to be going with a tight end angle here. One minute, six to go. Tyquan Thornton, that's who I'm looking for. And actually going out of bounds here. Second and six. I wanted to go out of bounds, but I went way quicker. So that was good. Let's try a flanker spot here. Cooper Cup towards the right. Thornton Mayer. Quite a few options. All right. Cannot get out of bounds on time. But, uh... We're moving forwards. We're moving forwards, and that is important. Can we get the double slants maybe going? Justin Shorter, going to show us what he can do. Okay, that was crazily overthrown. I was looking for Taekwon Thornton, but uh, that didn't work as intended. Second and ten. We're going to go with the cross drag. Cooper Cup, of course, the primary, but I've got Thornton or Mayer as well as options. So there we go. Cooper Cup and out of bounds with 18 seconds to go. We still have all of our timeouts. We should be able to make it into, into field goal territory. Let's go the bunch drive. Cooper Cup, my best option actually, maybe Van Jefferson. Let's push shorter on the slant here. All right. So, three, two, one, and off we go. All right. Cooper Cup made us, took a step or had to slow down a little bit. Um, that could have gone a little bit better, of course. We're at the 31, so that should be. A good field goal range here. Can we get another snap going? 10 seconds. Off we go. Well, we pushed forward a little bit. We're at 6 seconds now. We're going to be taking the field goal here. Tyler Bass, it's a bit windy. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh, those field goals. That was bad. That was not good. First kick by Tyler Bass. And it's not going to be accurate. Alright. On we head into the second half. We are going to start out with the run plays again. Want to get those going, of course. To uh, reach our game plan goal. Oh, Cam Akers super free here actually. Getting up to the 41. Unstoppable enabled. Away team players cannot be knocked over. Okay, that is good. We're going to be taking that of course. Cannot be knocked out of the zone. Oh, all right. Well, we hardly have any players with the zone ability on offense, but on defense. The route wasn't really opening up. Lucky we got two yards. Let's go to the halfback mid draw here. Towards the right hand side. Not a good matchup towards the left. 
Oh my god. Oh, that was that was silly. That was not a good run. Alright, quick analysis. I st started to go towards the right here. But uh, the window wasn't really there. So, uh, yeah, then I tried to change route, but then Bosa was there to take me down. Third and 11. Right, let's go for a pass play. Need to go for a pass play, let's put it that way. I think a double post is reasonable. And Jefferson, Mayer. Good options, maybe. What a good run by Mayer here. Alright, try to go into the truck and we've, we've got momentum go. back. Reed Jr. is in there. That is very well done. We're going to be starting with a halfback quick pace here towards the left. Mayer feels very responsive. Did you see the motion that Cam Akers did with his left arm? I really like that detail. It's uh, pushing the ball forward to gain an extra few inches, even when tackled. Uh, the matchups on the left again. We're not going to be deterred here. Ryan and Allen gets across, and I think that should be 13 inches for the first and 10. All right. 13 inches. Gonna go for a halfback dive and a straight run here for Cam Akers. Anything but a, but a loss here is good, and we push it forward the six-yard line now. And I'm really liking those all blue uniforms. What's that? A quarterback draw? Ooh, no, I'm not gonna be doing that. I mean, I like two, but. He's prone to drop the ball then. Cam Akers, 82% fatigue. Well, drag back and the flag on the play. I think that's going to be penalty. Yeah. Holding offense, Maurice Smith. Yeah, why do you keep doing this? First and goal, 16 yards. Oof. Let's go the halfback, wham. I mean, we still have first and goal. Not too bad, but we were pushed back too far here. And we actually get quite a few. Wow. Almost get up to the, to the goal line. 13 yard rush. Let me just check. Right, 129 rush yards already. So we should be able to really fulfill our game plan goal here. And now, Cam Akers pushing forward. Can we get into the end zone? Okay. <laughs> I mean, that has to be inches. Who do we bring out then? Oh, of course, we bring out Mr. Crazy Eyes, Bruce Hall. Third and goal. Let's go. And of course we're in. Of course we're in. Bruce Hall gets a touchdown for the LA Rams in the opener against the 49ers and we're doing way better way better than any game we had last season Nick Bosa manhandled by Brian Allen Priest Hall gets into the end zone come on the defense stops them again now that is fantastic that is really fantastic let's go let's go guys Mayor or Cup we're not going to be rushing too badly here, but... Oof. Oh, did you see that? Did you see that? Mayer came back and grabbed the ball. That was... That would have fallen short here. But he actually came back. Oh, that's that's amazing. Mayer starts to run here. It sheds two tackles. And now out of the sack. So that's why it was inaccurate, of course. Uh, to... Uh, clear throw lane here but out of the tack line it's a bit wobbly falls short but mayor grabs it and then the speed and then i tried to try to avoid the tackle there 
But uh, yeah, really well done. 17 yards is all we need to complete our game plan goal. We already have two offensive touchdowns, so that is great. All right, that's not going to bring us forward too much, but it is a yard. Let us go with an inside zone split, but we're going to invert the run to the left. As we will be taking the snap here. Yeah, nope, that's not working. That is not working. 57 coming across too quickly here. Hmm, what do we do? What do we do here? Do we go for a halfback slip screen? Do we go for a double post? Let's try a dagger. Dagger with Cooper Cup on the primary route, but we've got Mayer on the under. Shorter towards the end here. All right, safe catch by Michael Mayer, fourth and four. Brings us to the 21 yard line in the fourth quarter. Now, come on, Tyler Bass, please show us what you can do. Okay. That was better. Ball between the sticks. And Tyler Bass gets his first field goal for the Rams. As the 49ers get a touchdown here. Defense not able to stop them. And they're within striking distance again. So no mistakes now. Oof. Kinlaw, Javon Kinlaw here, but that looked like a face mask. Yeah. That was a really awkward stop here. Javon Kinlaw. You can't do that, man. You just can't do that. Got to be going towards the right now again. Super bad matchup on the left here. That is well done. Uh, number 76, Sam Cosme couldn't really uh, get the stop in there. How far did we get? Three yards, okay. Let's go to the halfback, wham. All right, Cam Akers does look fit. Mayer on the distraction run. Oof. Tripping over my own player. That is not what I like to see. Now we're 17 and 10. I don't really want to give this away. So... Let us go for a medium pass here. Let's go with a mesh. I mean, it's, it is six yards, right? We've got a tight end. We've got Khalil Shakir, another tight end. This is a tight end heavy formation. Why does he always jump? Why does he always jump? I wanted to slide. I wanted to freaking slide. And again, we lose the ball. That is infuriating, but our defense holds them. Oof. Uh, we were lucky there. We were really lucky there. Can't be dropping the ball, man. Can't be dropping the ball. Ooh, that's a little bit of a scare. Can we? No, we cannot avoid Fred Warner. Too precise in the pursuit, too quick on his feet there. But we do get four yards. The first pickup. Gonna be going towards the right hand side now. Again with Cam Akers. Get the first down. Fred Warner once more. 148 yards. Come on, Tua. Seriously. That was that was just bad. That was just super bad. Okay. <laughs> Not sure what that was. Second and ten. Let's go with the halfback dive, but flip the play towards the left. I don't think Terrible Jess will be getting his breakout now. Alright, the clock is running down. And of course, we are going to go with a field goal attempt here. It's super windy from pretty far back, but that is actually not too bad. But I think it falls short, right? 
yeah, it falls short. Okay. But that doesn't doesn't matter to me. We have won our first game against the 49ers. And that is a success. That is a great success. 90% pass completion rate for Tua. That is superb. No touchdown pass, okay, but no interception either. Did have the fumble, so that's gonna gonna put our success down a little bit here. But Cam Akers alone got the 150 rush yards. Tua got 14. Brees Hall got one. So we did make the 150 rush yards. That is great. That is really great. And uh, we got the two touchdowns as well. In regards to receiving, we've got Michael Mayer as the highest ranked receiver. Cooper Cup is in there as well. We didn't force the pass play. We went along with it as it turned out, as it came up, but we didn't force it. Maurice Smith and Emily Ecke are with the pancakes. What about the sacks? George Fant got two, yeah. Defense, let's take a look at defense. How many tackles for loss? Nick Bosa, yeah. Only Ernest Jones, Aaron Donald, Noah Sewell. Didn't get any, what about sacks? Noah Sewell got a sack, now that is great. Russ Yeast got a sack, King Theonic Barry. Interesting that they played, but okay. All right, super happy. We got 30 points. Now that is great. We actually did get two interceptions or uh, deflections for Burgess. Now that is even better. We got the 150 rush yards. We got the 70%. We got the interception. I am super happy. Three upgrades. Jonah Williams gets an upgrade towards Agile. He's getting better and better. Lead block, pass block, finesse, run block, finesse. Emil Ekior Jr. What are we going to be improving? I think I'm going to be improving power as high as I can go. And then I'm going to be reverting to the uh, scheme fit. David Schultz. Agile. Yeah, let's just keep him on scheme fit and improving as we need it. We've got a camp standout. Let's talk about this. I told you I'm there to be great coach. I'm not going to waste any opportunities, so keep them coming and I promise you won't regret it. That is great. I'm happy about that. You've been doing great, but the key now is being able to do it week in, week out. The stars of this league aren't just good a few games a year. They do something special each week. But he gets 10,000 experience points. That's gonna help him. And then we're gonna see if we get an upgrade to the dev trait sometime. What about the key to victory press conference? Cooper Cup, it felt great to impose our will and dominate the other team in the trenches. Can't wait to watch it back on film. I agree. I fully agree, Cooper. It was fantastic watching it live. You could see their will breaking the longer the game went on. Great job. I'm super happy that we won against the 49ers for once. All offensive linemen earned 4,500 experience points and 10 staff points for me. Well, that is even better. Okay. Well, that was a success, a great success right there. Gonna be ending this episode here and now. Uh, it's been quite long with the analysis of the team at the beginning and uh, the off-season wrap-up. Uh, I'm super happy. We won against the 49ers next week. Isn't gonna be easy either. It's gonna be the Green Bay Packers. Um, and uh, yeah, those are not gonna be pushovers. But for now, let's enjoy our success and the win. Uh, I'm super happy. Hope you liked this episode. If you did, please drop me a like and subscribe to the channel because that always helps me a lot. And as always, thank you for watching and see you next time.